Earlier this fall, an assisted living home in California was shut down by its owners, leaving many of its elderly residents with nowhere to go. The staff members left when they learned they weren't being paid, except for the cook, Maurice Roland, and the janitor, Miguel Alvarez. Roland and Alvarez decided on their own to stay and care for the residents, some of whom had dementia. They made a personal sacrifice to take care of their fellow humans until the sheriff and fire department took over several days later. Roland and Alvarez both showed extraordinary compassion and empathy for the residents. When I heard the story on NPR, I felt like I was punched in my gut. I wonder what I would do in a similar situation. Would I stay and care for the residents? Or would I assume someone else would be there to take care of them and go on my way? I can't answer that question. I hope I would stay, but I've never faced such a test. I think all of us are tested on a daily basis. When one of our end users comes to us with a problem, do we find a way to help or do we say, that's not my problem or that's not my department and go on about our business? Sometimes the test is a little thing, such as noticing an empty coffee pot and making a fresh pot for our colleagues. Sometimes the test is really big, as in the case of Roland and Alvarez. What about when we're working on a migration from, say, Windows XP to Windows 8.1? Do we simply take care of the technical aspects of the migration and let our users fend for themselves to learn the new operating system? Alternatively, do we research the common problems users have in such a migration so we can anticipate their challenges and prepare training or tip sheets to help them work with the new operating system? Like Alvarez and Roland, do we have compassion and empathy for our colleagues and find ways to help? Find ways to help improve the experience of our coworkers, our fellow humans. When we're dealing with a frustrated or angry customer or end user, can we find a way to imagine what they're going through? What would we want if the tables were turned? What would we want if that customer or end user was someone with whom we had a personal relationship? Someone for whom we deeply cared? What would we say? What would we do? Would we act differently? What about the late afternoon call from a customer or end user who's struggling with a technical problem? Would we find a way to help or would we put it off until the next morning so we could get out of the office? The great IT people are those who not only have outstanding technical skills, but also have a sense of compassion and empathy for all people. They care about the well-being of their brothers and sisters, not just in the workplace, but in every walk of life. For more ideas on how to improve communication and customer service skills, bring my IT customer service training seminar on-site to your location for your group, small or large. Visit www.doncrawley.com for the course description and outline. Or pick up a copy of my IT customer service book, The Compassionate Geek, how engineers, IT pros, and other tech specialists can master human relations skills to deliver outstanding customer service available in Kindle and paperback editions through Amazon and other resellers. Look, we're all human and subject to human frailty. None of us is perfect all the time, but each of us is given many opportunities, both small and large, to show what we're made of. I hope on balance that I've been more kind, compassionate, and empathetic than not. I hope I've passed the test more often than I've failed. I'm Don Crawley, I'll see you next time.